whatever God has called you to do, when you're in the midst of his plan and his perfect will for your life, there's so much joy. I am back today with your favorite, Abanella. You're my favorite too, Abby. I'm your favorite Abanella or just your favorite? Yes, to How both. How many Abanellas do you know? Only one. Okay. <laughs> there's only one Abanella in the world, and uh, that is you. <laughs> and she's here in the flesh. And you're my favorite one oh, as well. Thanks. Yeah, you know, you're it's my favorite. So, thank you. It is so much fun. I love getting emails and Facebook messages and things from people who talk about how much they enjoy listening to us podcast. And I'm like, well, if you only knew how much fun we had actually doing this, totally. we we get paid big bucks to sit <laughs> <laughs> and, and talk about homeschooling and family and God and kids and all the fun things She's that she's joking. Are, are, <laughs> well, I'm joking about the getting paid big bucks, but I'm not joking about the fact that we oh. love doing this. It's a blast. It's like it's hanging out. Okay. It's like hanging out with your best friend. Like, right. And I get a lot of messages too. Like people are like, we love the dynamics between the two of yeah. you, which is so fun. It's fun. I do too. I, I wish that we could have a time where we could just get together with all of our people <sighs> and have, have a retreat. A retreat. <gasps> A schoolhouse rocked retreat. We're going to do it. Yes. Oh, that's going to be a thing for sure. That is for sure going to be a thing. My favorite part of doing this is we don't rehearse at all. Like sometimes we don't like at all even know what we're going to talk about. And that's my favorite because it's fun because it's just it's like sitting at a cup of coffee right. with people. I mean, I usually rehearse my conversations with people before I go to coffee with them, but <laughs> <laughs> for days. I look at my script. Hello, how are you doing today, friend? <laughs> don't you do that? <laughs> uh, I don't go to coffee much with friends. Oh definitely. man. Well, we we kind of have our coffee together. So you and yeah. I are gonna actually be together. I cannot wait. I In know. September, we are gonna oh. be at the, okay. You know what? We should see if it's possible to do some kind of a meetup there. We're going to be at the Ark Encounter for Ooh. the ASLDA Leadership Conference. I don't know the date. Um, September something. Oh, do you know the date? No, it's a twenty. I think I uh, the twenty like twenty second, third, fourth, fifth, somewhere in there. Right. The twenty okay. somethings in the twenty. The twenty somethings. So if you guys want to meet up and have coffee with Abby and I, come and meet us at the Ark. Wouldn't that be fun? We will be there. We're going to be there together. And maybe like a Facebook Live while we're there too. Maybe we can, but I mean, there's people who live near there. And so, okay, I'm going to work on this. Wow. Okay. Let's do a meetup if we can. That if we can escape the leadership conference for just a little bit, we're going to go do, <gasps> we're going to, we're going to have a meetup. <gasps> that would be so oh, fun. Oh, you guys okay. meet me at the, everybody, you could come to the airport because <laughs> y'all Oh no, they that. can't get into the airport. That's not oh, a see, thing now. That, Okay. That shows you, <laughs> I haven't flown in probably 800 years. Oh, I wow. don't even know the last time that I've been at an airport. I honestly cannot tell you. It's probably been Oh, I don't know, a decade. I just don't oh, do a lot Lord. of flying. Yeah. So the fact that I'm going, well, and nowadays, uh, so the fact that I'm going to an airport is a really big deal. Yes. Everybody. Yes. So if so you everyone feel needs like to meeting sh- me show outside up with, signs. <laughs> with the airport, will you please just bring me coffees and, and like tranquilizers? And I'm kidding. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you need the tranquilizers before, before you get on the plane. That's true. That's Not true. after. Anyway, hey, everybody, pray for me. I'm going to be flying. Pray for Abby. (laughs) She needs (laughs) flying mercies. Anyway, Uh, I'm totally serious. Okay. If you're not subscribed to the Schoolhouse Rock newsletter, subscribe because I'm seriously going to try to set up some kind of like meet and greet, something or other, if possible. That is the best idea ever. So it will be in the newsletter, the date, the time, the location. It'll it'll be secret. I just thought of it right now. (laughs) Done. We're doing it. That's the best. You and even coffee with Yvette and I, bam, this is your And get to go visit. The Ark Encounter. It's yeah. in Kentucky. I mean, it doesn't, yeah. I cannot wait. And if wait. you can't go to the Ark Encounter, because if you just can't, like, if you can only sneak away for an hour yeah. or 20 minutes, we could meet you, like, right outside of there and have a coffee. Right. Yes. All right. We're going to plan something. I've, okay. I liter- I just wrote a note about it. We're going to plan this. So oh, anyway, okay. let's do, I want to do a quick update because you just got back, Abby, mm. from your first major trip with Call the uh. Beyond. And I'm so, I haven't even heard details. Uh, so just give us the nutshell version. What did God do with you and your family this past weekend? Okay. So this will be really quick. So first of all, called beyond many of you probably don't know because 
Um, so called beyond is actually a ministry that my husband and I and our kids do and called beyond takes kids and their families that are impacted by disability, um, on outdoor adventures. So, and the three main purposes of called beyond is to point to the value of life because these, these kiddos often in the world today aren't seen as valuable and, um, are often with the, with the way the abortion world is going, um, they'd be aborted before ever given the opportunity for life. So we point to the value of life, the blessing of family, because the breakdown in our nation of the family is absolutely horrific. Um, and lastly, to point to our creator through his creation, as many of you know, Jesse and I um, are very outdoors people. That's a lot of what we do. Um, and where we live, we see that people tend to worship the creation as opposed to the creator. So we're, we're flipping that on its head and pointing back to truth. So this last weekend, we were able to take two little incredibly amazing boys with down syndrome who have way more ability than disability mm. um and we were we took them along with their families on a jet boat sturgeon fishing trip which um if you guys want to know more about this go to called beyond on instagram or facebook and you can see pictures and you will light up when you see these little boys just experience what they got to experience. And we just saw miracle after miracle after miracle between um, the guide on our boat to our cameraman, because these are all filmed. Um, it was just an incredible, incredible trip. So that's all I'm going to tell you, because I really, really want you to go follow us on Facebook and Instagram. It's called Beyond um, and check out these adventures. But I want to tell you that at God without a doubt has created every life on purpose for a purpose. There are Amen. no mistakes. And when people look at certain other people and think, you know, that there's something wrong, that's a lie. There's something incredibly right. And um, the truth is our lives were changed and everybody around these two little boys, because you can just see joy and a, a contagious joy in them. And it was incredible. So go check it out called beyond on Facebook and Instagram follow us and you can just um, be a part of that awesome story. So cool. I will put links in the show notes for people to be able to find your called beyond pages as well. And, you know, I, I saw, I think it was yesterday you had posted some of the first pictures that came out of the trip and it was just amazing to see the looks on these kids faces and the <sighs> joy that they had and to see the looks on your face and Jesse's face that just, you were where God put you. And uh, you were doing exactly what God's called you to do. It's so exciting. And so, um, you know, when we say yes to the things that the Lord calls us to do, it, it doesn't always mean going out on a boat and fishing. It doesn't right. always mean making a movie about homeschooling. It doesn't always mean something, you know, that's crazy or risky. Sometimes it means sitting down with your kids in your lap and telling yep. them about Jesus, about their Savior. Yep. Whatever God has called you to do, when you're in the midst of His plan and his perfect will for your life, there's so much yeah. joy. And it doesn't mean that it doesn't come with hardship. You and I just talked about this be before we jumped on. And uh, in all transparency, we were both talking about just the struggles and the battles that we're, we're both facing. Because when you do family ministry, when, when, you are, when you're putting yourself out there and saying yes to God, Right. Satan wants to say no. And so he's going to do everything he can to thwart God's plan yep. and to bring division into your family, to bring discouragement, to bring depression, to bring sleepless mm -hmm. nights, to uh, just to, to bring uh, all the things that, that come with the sinful world that we live in. Right. And it's hard. And sometimes, you know, I get to that point where I'm just like, I just want to, I, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I told you, Abby, before we got on today, I said, I, I woke up this morning just feeling, I just want to go back to sleep. I don't want, I don't want to do this today. Not this podcasting. Actually, that was the, <laughs> the encouraging thing. I thought I'm glad I'm getting on with Abby today because I need some Abby time. Um, but it's hard when we say yes, but it's also hard when we say no. And right. so there's more joy in following yeah. God's purpose for our lives. Oh, for and sure. And you'd miss out on all the blessings. Like I cannot yeah. express to you the miracles that happened this weekend and just how we saw God's hand and how we yeah. saw people come together that had the same mission, you know, that, that wanted to bless these kids, but also, you know, point to the bigger picture. And, yeah. and it was incredible. But anytime you're doing something big for the kingdom there, you're threatening the other side, you right. know? And so the enemy comes after big, but but at the same time, it's like, we can't say no, you know, right. and, and God is, he protects us. It's, it's amazing how much I 
I just saw his protection over the weekend and then and it's just incredible. So um, check us out. It yep. I mean, it's not checking us out. Check out these kids. You guys, right. I want to tell you, God if did. you're having a sad day, go look at that. If you're having a happy day, go look at that. It is so cool to see um, just children and, and these kids who yep. it just, it blows my mind how anyone could say that any life isn't worth living. I just, yeah. I don't understand it because it's just, it's evil. Anyway, go check it out. You'll be encouraged. I promise you'll be encouraged. Um, you can support us there because uh, everything we do is donation and that's how we get yep. kids out. So we're just one foot in front of the other. When, when the opportunity is there, we take it and we take kids out. So, so exciting. So you'll also get so to hear good. about the next thing we have on. I won't share, but you'll get a, if you head over there, you'll hear about the next thing that's on the calendar for called beyond. Yeah. Awesome. We will, we will link those in the show notes for sure. Um, and then I want to give a very, very quick update on the movie because it's been a few weeks. <sighs> Can I just tell you, God is moving. He is literally moving mountains right wow. now. Um, it's been a really crazy couple of weeks. I went a, a few weeks ago, I went to NRB, which is the National Religious Broadcasters um, Conference. And it's where kind of all the Christian movie makers, filmmakers, TV, you know, showmakers, radio hosts. I got to meet Charlie Kirk. I was so excited uh, about getting to meet him. Um, and Sam Sorbo, she is so hilarious. She literally dragged me around for like two days and introduced me to a million people. And you've got to meet this person. You've got to meet that person. And we had a really good time together. And I got to meet a ton of just God's amazing people who are really, again, trying to do something to impact God's kingdom. And so it was a great time. I was able to make a lot of really important connections. A lot of them we already had, but I was able to just kind of revive those connections again and say, okay, we've got a movie now. And so people are really excited about it. And that moved us forward to, um, we, I don't know if we've talked about Fathom Events on the podcast, but Fathom Events is owned by th the three different, uh, the three major movie chains in the nation. And they come together to basically create these one or two night only events in theaters nationwide. And so they got a hold of the movie and they're super excited about it. So as of right now, and this is where I need to be asking you, our audience, to be praying fervently for Schoolhouse Rocked. We, they have penciled in right now, penciled in, not penned in, not inked in, it's not in Sharpie, <laughs> penciled in a release for November 1st and 2nd of this year to do a nationwide theatrical release. And that is super duper exciting. However, in order to get there, we have a lot of money to raise. And when I say a lot, I mean, we have to raise somewhere between 150 and $200,000, which is a lot of money. But let and me it, just say, don't be intimidated because that number sometimes you hear and you're like, oh, I can't do that. So I'm not giving. Right. Because remember that story about the fish and the loaves? Like, That's I right. just, I feel like when you give that number, some people are like, oh, we'll leave that to the big people. Right. But, um, but every, every dollar multiplies. And so every person, you know, every person's dollar matters. So yeah. don't, don't let that number intimidate you and think that you can't be a part of what God wants to do to get this funded. Right. Right. Exactly. Um, Here's, but if you do have millions of dollars, <laughs> right, right? If you happen to be sitting on millions of dollars <laughs> and you want to help get a really important homeschool movie out uh, into people's hands, we are the people to talk to. <laughs> um, and you, who knows, by the time this airs, we're actually recording this just less than a week before this episode is going to air. So God can do miraculous things in the yep. next week. Yep. But, you know, we talked about this quite some time ago, and I want to just share kind of this analogy again. We, years ago, we had felt like we were at this point where we were standing at the edge of the Red Sea and we did not know how God was going to part the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And we we thought at that time, like, God's going to just part these waters and we're going to get all the funding we need to get this movie done and out into people's hands. And this was like two and a half years ago, probably. And that didn't happen. And instead, God just took us a little bit further down the banks and we just continued along the edge of the Red Sea. And we've been standing at the edge of the Red Sea for a long time. Mm -hmm. And when, one of the things that, that I realized some time ago was, if you think about the Israelites and how they were standing at the edge of the Red Sea, if they had been standing at a creek or at a little river or something like that, there were, there were so many of them that they could have figured out a way to get across. Mm -hmm. But they were at the edge of a sea and they had no way to get across but to depend on the Lord. They could do nothing. They were completely right. helpless. Right. And so 
God parted the waters for them. You know, mm -hmm. once when they were coming out of Egypt and again, as they were going into the promised land, he twice, twice, he parted the waters for them and he allowed them to go through to this promised land that he had promised to them because he had called them to do something. Mm -hmm. And so that's where we are. We're standing at the edge of the Red Sea. Again, we don't know how God's going to split these waters, how he's going to provide what we need. We know it sounds like a lot of money to, to us and to pretty much everyone listening, but it's not too big for God. And the beauty of that is as he parts the Red Sea, he gets all the glory for it. We don't get to say, look, we got across this sea on our own. We threw some logs together. We stacked some rocks and we were able to, you know, limp across on our own. Right. We get to only say, look what God did. And so we are already praising God for what he has already orchestrated. We don't know. And, and this is just, just to clarify. I am not a name it and claim it girl. I am not <laughs> saying it like that. I'm just saying God has brought us this far. We have a completed movie. The reviews yeah. um, and responses we've gotten on it have been absolutely overwhelming and incredible. So much better than we even expected. People cannot wait to get this movie into people's hands. And so pray with us. Pray that God would provide the money. If you know someone who the Lord has just blessed financially and you think that they would be interested in getting behind this for even a portion of the movie, let us know. Contact us, email us. Um, you can email me at yvette at schoolhouserocked.com or podcast at schoolhouserocked.com. Either way, we'll get those. And um let us know, but just pray with us and pray for us. Um, the other thing is our family has just, we're, you know, again, as we're doing God's will, we feel like our family is just being attacked. And so I'm just going to be real about that and just say, please pray for our family through this season, because the next four months or so, as we get closer to the re release of the movie are going to be really hard. Uh, we know that we know that it, that the attacks are here and they're coming and they're going to get more intense, but we're not backing off. We are not going to stop doing what God's called us to do. And so just pray for the Lord's protection over our family, that he would just have a hedge of, of, of love and, and, um, protection over us as we move forward with this. So thank you for hanging with us through, um, just the, the getting to this point in the movie. It's been absolutely amazing to see the hand of God at work and to see you, our audience, surrounding us and supporting us and, and praying for us and sending us notes and supporting us financially. All of the things have been amazing how you have all come together and gotten us to this point because it's what the Lord has put on your heart. So, um, so thank you for that. And we are actually, so this episode, this week, we're actually going to do some <laughs> questions and answers. Um, so let's jump into that. We are, uh, <laughs> let's just jump into the first question. And then uh, Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to answer a few more questions. I'm sorry that that took so long, but it's so much fun to get updates and just to know what the Lord is doing with the movie and with Called Beyond, um, because you guys are audience, you are part of both of those ministries. And we are so sure. grateful that you are. 